Fall's been awesome. We've had two really good um, weeks of practice so far. Um, this group of girls have really gelled together really quickly. Um, so that's always one of your biggest concerns when you're bringing in a bigger freshman class and you have a young sophomore class. So they've really gelled together. We're working on our faster offense, uh, changing up the defenses. Um, so they've really responded and it's been a great two weeks so far. I think they're really looking forward to it and being at home when you get to open up your weekend um, at home is always a benefit and I think with this group they want to show that they're not the old MSU volleyball like they want to show the progress they've made in the last week um, so they're real excited about just showing the new them and being able to be at home in front of your crowd um, is definitely a benefit. The girls um, did and I have to give them their credit where credits do, they all came in shape. They came into spring or to fall season in shape, ready to play. Um, so we, you know, we had a hard week of conditioning when we did two a days. Um, they made it through it pretty easily, um, and now we're getting them into the game shape. So as much game as we can play, um, and getting them used to the volleyball game shape, I think we'll be ready come Friday. Definitely to hit off our season with a tournament in our own house is just so exciting for me. I've even had old teammates text me, oh, what time do you guys play? You're in the dome, right? I'm like, yep, we're there. Oh, huge difference, night and day. The coaches before, we didn't really have that relationship. Well, for me to speak, I didn't have a relationship really with the coach before and the coach before him. So I was the only one coached by Travis Ward. And then with coach, we just, we can talk to her whenever we feel like we want to, we just go into her office and have a normal conversation. We can tell her anything and definitely the trust is there that makes it so different and that camaraderie with the team is a lot stronger. Well, um, it's kind of hard to scout because really we haven't played any games um, and everybody always brings in new players so you can look at old film but it's, you know, every coach changes things up year after year so they may be running a different defense, they have a new player so they, they have a new different offensive scheme. Um, I know at MSU, Billings, they, this coach has only been there, this is her second year, um, so they're a very young team. Um, South Dakota, they also have a new coach this year. Um, you know, we were able to kind of, you know, able to look at um, Bemidji and Moorhead a little bit based off of last year, but they're bringing in new players. So we like to go in, and honestly, what I'm more concerned about in these four games is what we're doing on our side. So if we can take care of the ball on our side, then whatever they're doing, we can combat it. So we're ready to take whatever comes at us and just react to it. When I got here in February, I looked at our serve receive and our defense and I was just blown away that we did not have that in play. And for us to be in this type of conference and not have a very good strong serve receive or a very strong defensive presence. So that's where we went out and recruited. So our freshman class are very much defensive dominated. Um, and they have that just that change has created such a different culture um, and our offense we're going a lot quicker so people are going to notice the offense but they're going to notice that the defense is giving us opportunity after opportunity to continue to attack the ball um, and what these girls did in the spring to get their serve receive and defense on track and then being able to bring in our freshman class and one of our transfers it's awesome but our defense is what's going to help us be in games and and get that first conference win